Before and after every dive, you might notice our team of ROV engineers walking around the vehicles with a clipboard in their hands. On that clipboard is an easily overlooked but incredibly important tool, a checklist. ROVs are enormously complex machines with over 7,400 parts making up the systems of Argus and Hercules. Maintaining and monitoring the ROVs is an entire team's shared responsibility. And with up to seven ROV pilots on every expedition, a checklist makes sure every nut and bolt is accounted for and that nothing slips through the cracks. Take a look at all the components that come together to make an ROV work. When the ROVs are miles below the sea surface, we want the best possible guarantee that all systems will function properly. It's a challenging environment to operate a machine in. ROVs need to withstand extreme temperature and over 400 atmospheres of pressure. That's the equivalent pressure of a rhinoceros stacked on a postage stamp. In this environment, small problems can easily escalate into much bigger deals. So catching issues early is key. Before a dive, engineers complete a 55-part checklist. Argus and Hercules are swarmed around by engineers for low power checks, tightening connectors, inspecting the syntactic foam pack, scanning for anything out of place, balancing the ballast, and cross-checking that all tools needed for a dive are present. Low power checks are done before high voltage electricity is turned on for the vehicles. That's 2,700 volts of electricity. ROV engineers on deck work with teammates in the control room to coordinate high voltage checks, reviewing the ROV thrusters, the lights, and the hydraulics are all ready for launch. Checklists return after a dive is complete. Pilots review each system's status to catch preventable errors and look for ways to improve the next dive. Problems flagged in the dive notes are fixed and sensors or samplers can be swapped out to match the needs of the upcoming dive. The checklist keeps the team moving efficiently since ROV dives are commonly back-to-back -back with just a few hours in between. From the senior pilots to the new trainees, everyone uses a checklist to track all that needs to be inspected. The process also creates a baseline to troubleshoot from if a problem does go wrong on a system. As you're exploring with us on Nautilus Live, keep watching after a dive is complete and keep your eyes peeled you're sure to see our team of talented ROV engineers working through this critical checklist process. Check out the Nautilus Live team page for more about a day in the life of an ROV engineer.